Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be jumping back with our Panda series. And today we're going to be looking at the data frame cumulative sum method. So all right, what in the world is that? Easiest way to say is subtotal. So if you're uh, coming from the math world or finance world, uh, counting, going through and just subtotaling as you're going through. So if you've seen uh, the last one of the last videos uh, about um, uh, Pareto chart, we went through, got a little bit out of a sequence, so I apologize. So we added up all the percents as we go through. So we're going to break down the cumulative sum method a little bit more, but just think about it like subtotal. So all right, let's just go ahead and jump into it. <clears throat> so right now we have helps if you import and as, as pd all right let's run it again and let's try this and if you're new here thanks for joining us this is what we do we do micro videos one subject upon a time and then we build upon them so all right all right so here we go let's look at it so right now we have this unsorted um, like we had our Pareto, but here we go. We got our sprocket, cog, widget, stick, and we're going through. So now let's use our cumulative sum. So we're gonna we're gonna add a different. We're gonna add an additional column, and we're just gonna call this. Uh, actually, here sub. We'll call it subtotal. Oops. Call it subtotal. So we can see it, and then we'll change it to percent in a few minutes. Okay, def. Then what are you going to be subtotaling? Uh, cumulative sum. We're doing it off parts. Okay. Then. So there we go. And then we're going to tweak this a little bit, but let's just print df. <clears throat> okay, so here we are. 4, 4. 4 plus 8, 12. 12 plus 3, 15. That's pretty straightforward. So then how we did this was then we just said, okay, what, how, uh, now we're going to turn these into percents. So then it was literally just as you go through, what's the total for your parts? And it just went like this. Again, parts, oops, capital parts, and dot sum, and then of course the old, old famous convert to 100. There we go. And there we are. But now we want this to be, now we have this as percent since we did this conversion. So let's change this back. And, and there we are. So that is, this is cumulative sum. It is literally that simple. And of course, then you can do more math, but it is just so this isn't overwhelming. And so you can think about it. And a really nice way to think about it is subtotal. As you go through, it is subtotaling each row. So there we go. Uh, super quick video today. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Please drop any comments, questions, or any video requests below, and make sure you're hitting that like and subscribe button, and most important, that notification bell, okay? All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye guys.